welcome back guys um i think today i'm gonna get started on this guy here i'm gonna try and fix up that damage there i don't know if you can see just how mangled it is pretty mangled um i don't know just doing kind of like a patina truck here so i'm not gonna get too carried away uh i'll clean up the the rust that's there and you know bang her around best i can i guess and then we'll put some filler on it and call her done i mean i don't know how far do you go on something like this uh that's how far i'm gonna go anyway so stick around and i'll show you how i scab her together okay so i'm gonna get after this that loose garbage there and this here i'm just gonna hit it with uh it's got a flapper wheel and a cordless grinder so i'll hit it with that and uh see how she goes uh, hang tight okay so i hit it with the flapper and yeah there's some filler in here for sure uh it's up here but more importantly there's this dent i don't know if you can see it on there it looks like you can and it looks like they drilled some holes and they got in with the old style tried to pull it did the best they could we still have a low spot here and I bought this thing a while back. I had bought, you know, the cheaper no-name brand ones um, that we see on Amazon and stuff like that. Probably save a hundred bucks. Cheaper than this. But I've owned one of these before. I didn't use it much, so I got rid of it. Um, and I bought the cheap one, and phew, it was trash. And I've just used it one day, sold it the next. It was garbage. So... I was thinking about this thing and I seen it come up on sale on Amazon Prime Days or something. So I grabbed it and now I got a good reason to use it. So why don't we do that? I'm going to fire this thing up. I'll get you guys set up on a tripod and we'll see what we can do. Just so we're clear, I am not a body man. I don't even like body work. Um, but we're going to give this a go here. So you basically you... You put this little stud in here, comes with a box of them, and it welds it to there, and then we're going to use a puller and pull it off of there. I think I'll try and put three of these on here. I'll throw one up here. That worked better. Let's try another one. that all right let's give that a go so what we do is we're just gonna put this on here tighten her up a little bit and try and pull her out i'm gonna start with the middle one
If you don't got one of these, do yourself a favor and get one of these. <clears throat> Pretty cheap and really save you the, some sand in the long run. <clears throat> Especially if you're not very good at this stuff like me. overnight I'll come back in the morning I'll finish this guy off <sighs> it's a lot easier to dig out now than later so I'll clean up the rest of it all right I think that's gonna do it for today I'll come back tomorrow and we'll sand this up, throw a little primer on there, try and get her sort of matched and see what we come up with. So it dried <clears throat> and I hit it with some uh, some 120 or sorry I hit it with that 36 grit I just uh, used it use that <clears throat> use a 36 on the block <clears throat> got her this way and then I hit it with the random orbital uh, afterwards to clean up the rest so I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna tape off this back window a bit and I'll get it ready and then we will get a little paint on there now to be clear we're not trying to paint match we're not trying to get her pretty we're not get prepping it for actual paint we're just gonna throw some some red oxide primer on the bare spots and I think I got some green that's eh, kind of close I'll splash that on there and we'll call her good enough for now so Give me a couple seconds here, see what I got. What is this? Uh, flat red primer. All right.
Alright, so just gonna give her a quick scuff here. I'm gonna go crazy with this. Mainly because I don't think most people care about the top of the tab. I would like to get some of this black shit off of here. So I'm just using a a green, I'd like to say it's a scotch brake pad, but it's a dollar store pad. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna scrub away at this for a while. No sense uh, dragging you along for that, you didn't do anything. So uh, I'll do, I'll finish this up and then I'll bring you back for the next day. Um, it's a little dark for my liking, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. So, I know I said I wasn't gonna get into this whole trying to blend it too much. I went and had a can made up. I know, I know. And it's not the Floyd there because that's the truck. Um, so, I'm just gonna scratch this and, and then we'll go ahead and we'll throw that on. So, just hang tight here and we'll get you, get you set up on the tripod and we'll get you going. These things here, I had this made up in Napa. It cost me. I don't know, 35 bucks or something like that. Canadian, what is that? Uh, $11 American. Um, I don't know how well it'll match. I pulled the code out of the uh, glove box. You know, I'll show you where that is real quick. Most of you already know this, but there's somebody out there like me who just doesn't know. And you don't know what you don't know. So down here, you can see the code 529 and medium green. So you find that on your, what do they call this? Uh, a spiv? Or, yeah, a spit. Uh, spit. Spiff? Uh, service part identification. Anyway, that's where it is there. 529 medium green. You just go into whoever makes. Uh, Whoever makes these things for you and tell them that's what you want and they all whip it up it takes no time at all i think i had this paint in under 10 minutes um i'm gonna get a new battery put in i'll get you guys set up on the tripod right about here somewhere and we'll get rolling I'm just gonna scuff this up enough so that the paint will bite, which is all I'm really after. I don't care that much about up here. No one's ever gonna see it. I'm not building a show truck. I know I hate it when I hear guys say that. It's almost like they're, you know, making excuses for why it doesn't look good, but in reality, I'm, this is almost good enough. All right. Good enough for me. You guys think. Yes, I've never seen anything until I post and then you know, go after me in the comments. All right, here we go. That sure is tiger striking. It's kind of like real heavy on the bottom of the spray and then not so heavy on the top.
Okay, so I started to scratch her up with one of, one of these guys here. I find it a little bit too aggressive because we're not really trying to remove material. All we're really looking to do is take away that gloss finish. Now, I think the best way to do that is uh, this sandpaper here. What do I got? So I got some 1000 and some 2000 grit. So I'm gonna spray some soapy water down and hit it with those and we'll go from there. All right, so, all right. All right, so here's the 1000. Here's my soapy water from uh, the spray bottle from the dollar store. I don't know, try a little crosshatch pattern. See what that does. I want to start on top because up here, nobody can really see it. But back here, you can. So, if the 1000 ends up being, you know, not soft enough, it's too aggressive. You know, Send her back the other way, I guess. Two thousand. So pretty much got her, her licked now. Um, it's not a perfect match here, as you can see. Up here, it really kind of shows a little bit more, but it's not bad. There's a little more shine showing on here than there really is, and that's because the lights are so close. Um, it, it is a dulled down finish, but anyway, that's what we're left with. Um, our big smash in here is gone. That's what we were after. I'm kind of digging the, the way it looks. I, I'm okay with that transition in there. Um, not perfect, but not bad. Same as on this side, it's not perfect, but not bad. I can live with that. I think I'll do more of the same across the bottom here. I don't know if I'll bother filming it. It'll be similar to this. Uh, this stuff up here, where it looks kind of like there's body filler in that line. Yeah, that's before us. It's all down here. We didn't touch any of that. And then here's us, and then it's back again. So maybe, maybe we need to fill that in. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna come down here real quick. What's going on here? Toilet paper caught to my shoe. Come on, enough already. Let's go around pop turn this light off real quick we'll leave the other ones on <coughs> <What's that? coughs> give me a better i don't know probably looks the same eh well, regardless uh, listen i hope you uh, hope you had fun i hope you stuck around um maybe you learned something maybe you didn't maybe you'll like it maybe you'll hate it i do got bucket seat install going in again these are the bases I went and picked up from the wreckers yesterday. 
same ones I put in the panel truck. Um, so I got some brand new black buckets for this thing. I really don't want to give away the name on it yet. Uh, if you're in the Edmonton area and you're looking for this bench seat, I'll give you this one for free. Uh, mention it in the comments and come on by and you can pick that up. I'm not a fan of this one. It's not a folder. So keep that in mind. If you want it, you can have it. The bottom is blown out. The back is not great either. Uh, but hey, it's, if you need it, you can have it. That's that. That's coming up. And I don't know. I guess that's enough. That's enough for now. Um, like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.